Morning guys, hope you're well. Uh, doing a little bit of early morning work because obviously I'm going to be off for the next three days uh, meeting you lot. But I want to show you something. Uh, bear with me, let me have me coffee and grab me a breath because <coughs> uh, she's been happy. Having me run up and down these stairs, this is no good. We're going to sell the house and get a bungalow. Oh, it's, it's terrible. But it's this chart. Terrible. I'm going to mark it up because obviously I want to get it ready for next week. And I wasn't really going to fight the market with um, non-farm payroll because that would have been just ludicrous. But all the elements were there for FIB to show you the way. There is a key starting point. And remember, these are on hourly charts. Stop trying to do this on one minute and five minute charts. There's the start. Pushed up, pushed down. First green candle there of the move. Got to a high point, And from this high point, we had one, two, three, four, five, six hours to understand what was going on. More than enough time. It broke the 23 twice. It tapped it here, but it closed here. Locking in said fib. From this fib, you've got your extension. This is the non-farm payroll explosion. Straight up to the pip. To the pip. Came back down, jostled around inside of this, and then decided it was going to go on a drop. And it did. And that drop's been coming for weeks. And it pundits are saying it's the start of the crash. Personally, I don't think it is. I just think it's a, it's a minor correction. But down it came. Stalled in and around bigger fibs. And again, there's your 161 from this original drive. That's roughly where it stalled. But it stalled bang on. Key daily fib from before and then we've got this huge move which is running through which is from all the way back here and if I draw it in properly so it started on that candle there and it got up to this high point at that time because this was a fib inside a fib so the two fibs are in roughly the same place look where it stopped to the pip of one of the 61.8 of the whole move. Now tell me fibs don't work. Of course they work. As long as you can recognize them and map them out. And it's as simple as that. Now what we can do, just moving forward, grab hold of your fib. There's your colossal drop. Oh, what an amazing shock. 50% to the pip. But of course, I don't know what I'm talking about. So, there we go. Catch you all soon.